So here recently I've gotten a couple of Rough Rider knives, just the standard Rough Rider knives, not the uh, Rough Rider Reserve um, that I've been pretty impressed with. And this is one of those knives. And this is a sunfish or an elephant toenail, depending on how you want to refer to it. Um, and like I said, this is just the standard Rough Rider. Um, and this is in this denim uh, micarta. It looks like jeans, which is cool. Um, my one criticism of most of the micarta that Rough Rider uses is that they polish it so it doesn't really feel like micarta, which is a little disappointing. It's got these like orange or red maybe. No, they're orange. Orange liners, I believe made of G10. Um, and of course, like most of these sunfish or elephant toenails, you got a gigantic uh, spear blade. And then a secondary smaller spear blade that I guess you might call a pen blade, but it is fairly large for a pen blade. Um, but, you know, like most of these, it is a, um, what do they call this? A, I think technically this is referred to as a pen knife, but that's a little ridiculous. So, you know, it's a uh, double-ended knife. It's a blade on each end. Which, like I said, I think technically is a pen knife instead of a jackknife that has both blades on the same end or only one blade. Um, but, yeah. Not really getting caught up in the uh, like terms and everything. This is just a big um, pocket knife with a huge spear blade and a smaller spear blade, pretty much. Uh, this one's done pretty well. The main blade does have the slightest amount of side-to-side -side play. Um, I probably will try to fix that because I do get kind of um, OCD about that kind of stuff uh, for whatever reason. But other than that, this knife is put together really well. And I actually did buy two of these because I was really excited about it. I was hoping I could get one that wouldn't be bad uh, because my experience with the Rough Rider has been hit or miss. Either they hit it out of the park or they miss entirely and the ball hits the catcher in the face and um yeah it's a mess so that's been my experience with rough rider either they're great or they're horrible <laughs> um in my experience um i think at this point i've gotten more uh good ones than bad ones but you know occasionally you still get a really bad one really horrendous knife um this one's pretty good um, actually it's, it's very good for, you know, the price it is, which is like, I think this one was slightly more than like, you know, your standard $15 Rough Riders. This one might have been like 20. I don't really remember. I bought it a little while ago now. Um, but it's a nice knife. The action is a little bit light, but on a knife like this, uh, honestly, you don't need an insane action. In fact, uh, my like Winchester Sunfish knives have an action that makes them almost kind of hard to use on a daily basis because it's really um, working at your fingernail to pull that blade open. Uh, and don't even think about trying to get the secondary blade open. It's not happening. Uh, pretty good looking knife. The only criticism I have is this R on the bolster. I know some other people uh, really don't like that either. I'm not necessarily a huge fan of it, especially when there's already a shield that has the double R's on it. Um, but other than that, it's a nice knife. It's pretty well made uh, for the price point anyway, um, and I'm pretty happy with it. I don't think that this is quite as nice as I have this white smooth bone Rough Rider Sunfish or Elephant Toenail that I like more um, than this, I believe, um, just because that knife is like, uh, that knife is like perfect, and I love that knife. Um, haven't carried it for a little while, but that's like the Rough Rider that I've probably carried the most. Um, I don't tend to actually carry these this that much because I have so many other um, better, I don't want to say better, but you know, like higher end, more exciting knives to carry, like my Great Eastern Cutleries, and even like my Case Knives and my Winchester Knives and you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I don't tend to really carry the Rough Riders very much. Um, but I do like to have them just cause, you know, they're a affordable, um, traditional pocket knife and, you know, some people out there, that's what they're 
looking for. They're just looking for a knife to use and everything. And Rough Riders, I feel like, are pretty good for that. Uh, if you don't care about the fact that they're made in China, which I know a lot of older uh, men in general really have a thing against Chinese made anything, uh, which is at this point in the world is a little bit ridiculous because uh, like most things in general are made in China. That's just the way it is. Um, you know, they don't have any like, well, I don't know what's true, of course, because, you know, we only hear the uh, propagandized version of whatever the story is. Um, so, of course, you don't really know what's true, but, you know, I believe in the West we hear stories of, you know, they're basically being like no labor laws and like, you know, no kind of laws to really impede production. So, like, there's no pollution laws, no labor laws. And, of course, when you see the pictures of China and the, the cities are full of smog, um, yeah. <laughs> so they can afford to produce things cheaper and easier so you know most things are just made in china that's just the way that it is unfortunately now that being said um if you can afford an american made knife if you can get your hands on a great eastern cutlery i would certainly um say get one of those instead of getting a rough rider um if you're just gonna have one knife to use um or, you know, get an old Winchester knife, or even like a case knife, if you have like a case dealer and you can go look at the knife, uh, that might be a good option too. Because case, unfortunately, their quality control isn't where it should be, um, even though they're an American-made company, and they're actually Pennsylvania-made, well, just like Great Eastern Cutlery. Um, so I love case, but the problem with case is that they really need to get their quality control in order, because there's a lot of videos on YouTube, including one of mine, that are really showing off a, a just atrocious uh, case knife. Um, so case needs to work on that. They need to get their quality control in order. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, even if they had to raise the price of their knives like $10 a knife and they got their quality control uh, under control and every knife that came out was an acceptable knife, um, that would be a, a turn in the right direction in my opinion. Um, but... Honestly, these days, the last few Rough Riders that I've gotten have been better made than most of the case knives I have, uh, which is kind of sad uh, for American-made knives. But, yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling about the economics of Chinese-made products and uh, criticisms of uh, WR Case and Sons. Because, again, I do love Case. Uh, unfortunately, they just need to work on their quality control. Um, but, anyway... This is the Rough Rider uh, Sunfish in Blue Denim Micarta. Uh, nothing super special about it. I believe this is just the 440 Ace, the other use for everything. Uh, or it might be 440C, does it say? No, just 440 Razor Sharp Steel. So I'm going to guess that it's probably 440A. Uh, you know, just a super cheap stainless steel. Uh, good thing about that, super easy to sharpen. Bad thing about that is if you are a person who does use their knife uh, like a lot on a daily basis, it might go dull on you. Um, if you're like most normal people and you just use your knife to cut a couple things a day, you'll be fine and you can just go home and sharpen it up if you feel like it has dulled at all. But, you know, a couple of days of just light use like most people use their pocket knife for, if we're being honest, uh, it'll be fine. But, you know, for those of you who use your knife all day long for things, I don't know what you do that you use your knife all day long. Uh, maybe you're cutting rope or something all day. But, you know, if you're somebody who does that kind of thing, you probably want to look for a, a better blade steel or keep a, like, little sharpener in your pocket if you're going to have a knife like this. Um, so, yeah, Rough Rider um, Sunfish Knife in this blue denim micarta. Uh, pretty well made. Uh, and pretty exciting for the price point that these knives are. Um, if you've never tried out a Rough Rider, um, you know, going with Smoky Mountain Knife Works, they have literally hundreds of Rough Rider knives over there. Maybe find one that you think is cool and try it out. Uh, they're cheap enough that it's not a big deal if you don't like the knife. Um, you know, they're like, most of them are less than $20, so... It's not a huge deal if you don't like the knife. It was $20, so, you know, who really cares that much? That's like 
the price a lot of people spend on like lunch or dinner. So, you know, uh, but anyway, I've been rambling a lot. That's going to be it for this video on this Rough Rider uh, Sunfish and this Blue Denim Micarta. And I will see you guys in the next one. And I hope you have a good day.